Morning, from the sublime to the ridiculous, I got from my watercolour that I did Thursday, I've been rather busy of late. Uh, so I'm, I'm just practising using a bit of paper, scrunched up and just applying colour. Just over another painting, but there's, it's just, this probably won't work, I'm not that bothered. But we'll see we we'll see what happens. We were just, just playing around with colour really, that's all that's all it is. Uh, this is real abstract expressionism. Except I'm doing even less thinking. I would like my abstracts to have some sort of landscape appeal. And I think trying to invent a title for some of these things is quite quite tricky. I've been reading a lot about abstract expressionism lately. It's a very, very exciting way of well, of just enjoying the process of, of playing around with colours and seeing what you come up with. There's sorts of marks with it. some red, nice bit of splodgy red. You can use the, the green. The green is made from viridian and and lemon yellow. I did a sort of Hodgkin S painting on Thursday too and but the, the acrylic blue dried very, very dull, almost vanished. So I wasn't very happy with that. I did varnish it, but it sort of, it, it looked very nice, but it, it just lost that, uh, that brilliance that it had when I painted it. I used cerulean blue, which was a was very sort of quite weak. But I'm using the uh, Wilkinson colours, most mostly apart from the white. So this could be sort of a, a Monet. <laughs> Sorry, Monet. I don't know if Jackson Pollock had access to kitchen paper. But this is what we've got now. Can make textures with absolutely anything. I've changed the focus on this back. I've, I was on automatic focus for, for several years. But it seemed to I don't know, focus on your hand, my hand when it was there, and then it would change to, to, to there. So, but I've cut that out, and I just hope it's an improvement, so please leave a comment on it. Right, now I want more orangey red. To come in against those greens. cover all the board. I paint mostly on watercolour paper or hardboard 
mainly because not the expense so much as as the as the space the canvases take unless obviously you're selling regularly it doesn't matter but but I'm not I don't really show my work I can't really I'd rather paint than tour, tour around galleries I'm enjoying this where's that smile come Never done this. Totally random. It, it, it doesn't mean anything. I'm, it either works or it doesn't. Confusion. bluey green. Viridian's a wonderful colour. It mixes with the yellow so beautifully and gives lovely greens. Right, let's get in with some big red now. Down here. The ultra green. I think the main reason I sort of play around with these sort of abstracts is that I can't really say much more in my landscapes, in my Watercolors. I've, I've, I've said over and over again. Everything that I can think to put in that that I want to paint. I don't like painting great bridges and well, great uh, city scenes. I, 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 I'm quite happy doing this. I know a lot of you won't be, but because you follow my watercolours mainly but uh, you know I, I've got to paint for myself really and I thank you for your support over the years I'm not going to stop doing the watercolours but it's not my, my my thing at the moment it's I've done the, the watercolours and the landscapes for over 40 years and it's, this is all new to me. Well, in this sort of intensity, I was <coughs> painting some abstracts in the late 1990s. So some more year lemon yellow. Well, that one's uh, biting the dust. When you do this, it makes sure you're pretty well covered up because of credit getting on your jeans or, or whatever, you know, clothes, your good clothes, you get ruined. But Maria, Maria Kellner came up with another useful bit of information, as she always does, about. Um, Windsor and Newton make a, a, a solvent for acrylic, but I don't know how good it would be. Right, let's get my nice greens back again. Nice, brilliant, brilliant greens. Pile it on. Web of colour. Some red in there. We cover all of the board. Mm. 
Let's get some brilliant lights in the middle, or round about the middle. I spent a year painting Venice for a gallery years ago, but people know what things look like. But with abstraction, there's no benchmark. There's there's nothing. It's just paint, and, and people see through different things. Some people like it, some people don't. Most people like landscapes because we're, they're so familiar. Let's have a bit of orange. Why not? Squeeze that out. I'm still going to carry on with this old bit, bit of tissue. Look at that. You see that? Lovely. Those are green. So to complement complement the reds, the oranges, the complementary colours. I will buy some violet, cobalt violet, violet hue anyway, not a Drip painting with the kitchen roll. Right, let's go with a bit of black now. Let's uh, dramatise it. Another little bit, Dave. Of the very best, this helps you to loosen up. Well, I'll put this in the frame in a minute. Well, I don't think I could do much about that. I know I've got a lot of unlikes. These are just not universally popular. But it's painting, it's being happy, painting, painting away with lovely, beautiful colours. Seeing, seeing where you go. Could never do that again. I'll put it in a frame, in a, in a nice frame. I hope I don't. A bit tricky, this. Uh, sorry. Uh, now, this can go anyway. Okay, now what way was that? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway. So there we are, we've got a very jolly, <coughs> happy, confusing <coughs> cacophony of colours. Cacophony of colours, if there's such a, a, a thing. Alright, uh, 
Well, I'm not quite like that. There's absolutely no skill in it, no thought in it, no design, just dipping in a, a lump of cloth or a lump of kitchen towel, dumped in the colour and banged on the, on the board. Well, Jackson Pollock got away with it, didn't he? But I'm not Jackson Pollock. Anyway, hope you had some fun with, with that joining in. I shall publish that on YouTube, as you, as you know, because you're watching it. So thanks for persevering. Sorry if you don't like it. Not sure I do. But there we are. Bye for now.